Hello everyone, my name is Jordan and today I want to make some labels and I want to make uh, labels with using washi tape. It's a great way to use up washi tape. Um, here I have an example right here of one that I made. So the border is washi tape and then this is just a book page that I glued in the center and stamped a little rose image on and it's just uh, a really cute way to make labels. Um, different than some of the other ways that are out there um, and like I said it's a perfect way to use up some of your washi tape if you have a ton of it. Um, so right here I just have a bunch of cardstock that I cut into random shapes and sizes or not shapes they're all like rectangles but um, random sizes I didn't like do any measuring. Um, this uh, so these are all just random sizes and all we're going to do is you know, line them with some washi tape. So all I did was get about the right length and we're going to just line it up. I'm not too worried if it's right at the edge because I'll just ink the edges as best. Uh, that one. Yeah, that's fine. And then we'll just go all the way around. We'll cut off the excess when we're done. You can put a little extra glue on if your washi tape isn't super sticky. There we go, and then we'll just take our scissors and we'll cut off the excess. And there we have it, and then you can take ink up the edges if you got any white spaces. The uh, ink doesn't show up as well on like the parts that have washi tape as much as like your, you know, other ones. Or er, the ink doesn't show up on the washi tape as dark as it does on like the cardstock, so. Washi tape is very like smooth and kind of like slippery, so it doesn't take ink super well, but it still shows up. It's still worth inking, in my opinion, especially if you didn't get it quite to the edges. It just helps a little bit. Now, you don't need to do the whole middle because we're going to uh, put something else there. So like over here, I've got, oh, I Tim Holtz uh, recently released a bunch of new colors in the distress glazes and I decided to buy some and experiment because I've never really played with distress glazes before but I thought um, it'd be fun. So these were just uh, pieces of book page and I just did a little strip of embossing glaze to add some color, kind of like color swatches. I was just kind of testing out the colors and, and stuff. Um, here are also some in glazed stamp impressions. I think all of these are not exactly the right size to cover what I got going on over here. So we might just take a strip of some book page or coffee stained paper and then we can stamp something on it or whatever, whatever we want. We could even take a strip it like this. That would actually be really cool. You can really use whatever you want. this edge a little bit. And then we'll ink up these edges. Oh, 
We'll just glue that on. And then, like I said, we can get out some stamps and we can stamp something on there. Um, how about this one? cool um, and then maybe like a number or something do I have a big number maybe not that set Something like that, maybe a little bit of a word. And there we go, we have ourselves a label. So just stuff like this, just taking washi tape, take, uh, making a pretty border and then taking scraps uh, for the center, anything. Um, you could do, if you got stickers, you could put them in here. You could, you know, like I said, stamp, you can use book pages, um, rub-ons, anything you have. So I actually have quite a, or some already made up. Uh, so you don't have to watch me put these on all the washi tape on so some of these like smaller ones i just ran the washi tape across the top the bottom and then over the center because it was easier than doing it was like three strips instead of four strips if that makes sense and i could cover it with three strips so Whereas this one, I went all around the edges. I probably could have just done one in the center. Uh, this is actually a wide washi tape. So this is one flush piece of washi tape. This is like little uh, botanical um, washi tape stamps, faux stamps. And I just kind of collaged them on here. Um, same with this one. These were like uh, kind of like ticket pieces and stuff and I just sort of cut the white off around it and sort of collaged them around the edges. I thought that would be kind of cool. So yeah, let's decorate some of these up. Um, in some of these, I don't know, some of these images I already sort of have stuff. That could be kind of cool, a butterfly, that would be cute. Or there's also this one that's almost like perfect. If I inked the edges, that would be, let's do that actually. Then you just flew that on there. That's really cute, simple. What else? Um, well, I have, like I said, I've got some of these little swatches. This might be really 
cute on that one if I cut some of it off a little bit, or like a green one. Hmm. Some of these are like too big. What else do I have in here? mushroom oh it's like too big though that sucks i guess this could work oh Ooh, this what other colors were there oh this three i guess sideways if i cut this down let's see what that looks like That's kind of cool. There we go, another label done. Um, let's see here. This is such a little one. But I kind of like these two colors together. This is another kind of like simple, oop, I saw all this washi tape on here. Yeah, it's sticking to me. No, it's not very, it's not very straight. I think that'll work though. Cute. Um, okay, let's see what else what we got left here. So let's get out, let's do some more stamping, I think. I have a scrap of tea stained paper and let's kind of... It's still way too thick. Skinny I want a nice border. There we go. And then, hang on, let me quick look at my stamps. There we go. I think I've got an idea. What about, will they fit though? I'm not sure if this is big enough. I'm gonna do. Ooh. Might just fit on there. And I think I'm going to go with a darker. I think I'm going to get out my Versify and Claire Nocturne. Yeah, 
Yeah. And then instead of Grand Espresso with this one, I'm going to go with Vintage Photo. Because it kind of matches this edge here. And Vintage Photo just goes like perfectly with my tea stain paper. It really does. I love it. It like looks like it's the same color. Put that on there. That's adorable. I love this washi tape so much. Probably like the prettiest washi tape I own. Look at that one. That one's so cute. Okay. So... put that away so we still have a few left here what do we want to do with these guys we could just kind of do some more washi or not washi tape more well is there any more of these guys I do have like, this guy's really pretty. That actually with the blue, I'd really have to, like, trim them down so that we can see. would be cool and then almost like we could even I don't know how what stamping does over the top but we could like stamp a number or something there so I think I'm gonna come in with vintage photo again and we're gonna try it I think let's see what happens if you stamp over the top of embossing glaze I think I will use my VersaFine and Claire just because it's more pigmented and more juicy I think it has a better chance of, you know, something happening. Or I could even just take like a smaller label and like layer it down here, but um, what do I want to stamp on it? I could try like filed. Alright, let's see what happens. If anything, we can just cover it up. Ooh! It kind of works. It's sort of like fading. But it did kind of work. I don't know if it'll wipe off. I don't know if it'll dry properly, but we'll see. I'm trying not to touch the letters because I don't want to smear it. Do you see how it kind of is like breaking apart? It's not like a solid line like the D. But we'll see. I'm going to set it off to the side and we'll see later. I'll, I'll touch it some more and see if it comes off. Um, We have a lot of brown ones left. And I do have this strip. That would look great with the map. Yeah, I think I'm just going to glue it on. Um, and I think I want Ground Espresso for this one.
Okay. And what do we want to put on there? I didn't try this one. I don't think I've ever used this one before. I feel like if I go lightly in the background, like maybe with Vintage Photo, we'll kind of very lightly do it, and then we'll stamp something a little more bold on top of it. I feel like that is almost like sort of like a... Uh, army vibes it kind of gives me, but it's airmail. So. We'll see. I'm not going to worry about pressing too hard. Like I said, I kind of just want a faded impression. Yeah. And then maybe in black, we'll do something else. So, um, maybe just like U.S. airmail service. Is this... We'll do that with black. I don't know. Oh, shoot. Yeah. It kind of feels like it's still missing something, but that's okay. We still have two more here. This is like, oh, an advertisement piece washi. Um, you know, I do have... I recently bought these washi stickers from the washi tape shop. It was part of my first order from the washi tape. So maybe we can use some of these. There's a lot of like flowers and stuff. But these are washi, so they might really blend into the background. So it might be best if I do cut out some sort of square shape. And we'll just do that with vintage photo. I really like using the kind of hand torn bits for the middle instead of everything being just like these perfect straight lines. Um, but that's my opinion. You can cut them into perfect squares if you want to. This is just sort of my preference. All right, let's see, what do we want on here? There's some really pretty flowers and things. There's a bee. I really like that one. Hmm. That one's got, I like that one. I think if I pull this up, Oh, I've never opened them. I've yet to even test them. Still kind of taped shut. Okay, here we go. Ooh, the butterfly. We might have to do that on this one, on the next one. Because this one, it's a little too big, I think. But I think oh, these are so pretty. I think it still needs, like, something stamped on it. But I'm thinking I want to go for this one. And then maybe, let's maybe stamp a little number going up and down. Let's see if I can find one. Is this big enough? Or small enough? I think so. Um, and maybe we'll just do... 
What is it? Ground espresso. Keep with the sort of uh, neutrals. I don't want to go too dark. Okay, so we got a number, and then let's just get this stick. There. Isn't that cute? I'm wondering, I also have, uh, these three also came in a set, so I bought, what is it, this, these four or five smaller rolls with all the like flowers and botanicals was a set, it all came together, and then I also bought these three. This one sort of has some smaller, uh, thinner botanicals, maybe I can sort of add something to this one. And it was sort of like this army travel themed label and now I want to add botanicals to it. <laughs> Maybe. Let's see what they look like. Oops, I broke one. What? I'm so confused. Ah, I am. I'm breaking things. Oh, I just took out the in-between. I kind of like this one. I think that one kind of matches it, so it has like the green undertones, sort of goldish. How can we, I mean I could just sort of, maybe even just sort of like that, sort of fold that over. They're very white, like for washi stickers, they really don't blend in, but maybe that's because I'm putting them on like colored paper, not white paper, but they're still cute. I could go over it with some uh, like tea dye or uh, vintage photo to try to vintage that up, but okay, so we have one more. Oh, and I wanted to do the butterfly, but I need this. Okay, I think I'm going to keep that edge. Little bit of vintage photo. Okay. I'm gonna glue this down because this is the edge and it's very wavy, so I'm just gonna glue that down, try to make it as flat as possible. Okay, and then I said I wanted, was it, no, it was this roll. I wanted this butterfly. Am I going to just put it on there right away, or do I want to stamp something first? I should probably stamp something first. Let's get out field notes. Uh, where is it? I already have it out. It's buried under my mess. What should I stamp under there? Maybe we just do figure one, two, three. That's okay. I'm going to put this butterfly on. All right. 
it. Let's see, did this dry? Ooh, no, it's smudging. That's okay. Um, yeah, that's definitely smudging. It's not drying very well. So maybe later I'll cover that just with like another label, a small strip of label or of something, or I could cut, I could re-stamp this on a separate piece of paper. I could even use one of these tiny little scraps and then just go over the top of it or something. But I'll do that later off camera. Um, let's go through what we've done so far and then I'll also, I'm going to show you the ones that I did off camera, like ahead of time when I was kind of playing around with this idea. Um, cause I did make a bunch and God, I have a mess every time. So this was the first one we made together. Really cool. Made this one. This was the last one we made. This one inking over the top of embossed material does not go well. It's smudging. It's not drying, but still really cute. I'll probably just cover that up. Like I said, we have this one. I really like these washi stickers. I do wish that the white blended in more, but that's okay. This one's super cute. I really like that one. These we use some book pages, some more embossing, another embossed one, an um, embossed book page. Um, then some of the ones that I made off camera, this is the one that I showed you in the beginning as an example, that was book page and then I stamped over the top of it. There's another tea stained paper that I stamped on, another sort of airmail themed one. Here's another one of the, where I just kind of patched the little bits of washi, different kinds of washi on there and then a stamp in the middle. Here's some more stamping on tea stained paper. This was um, from a botanical book page. I just kind of cut out a strip of flower and then stamped bloom on it. This one, I really like this one. This was actually two different washi tapes, two like thinner washi tapes. So I did the outside in one uh, washi tape and then the inside with the other one and just a little bee themed one. And I stamped these images in the center. So there's really a lot you can do and they're really fun to make. And you can use up scraps, you use up lots of washi tape that you have lying around. And it's a fun project. Labels are always fun to make. And it's always fun to try to make them in different ways with different materials. So yeah, I really loved this project and I could make labels all day. <laughs> the last label video I made, I made out of a master board. So if you're interested in that, I will link it down below if you have yet to see that. It's a pretty popular video of mine. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time with another one. Goodbye.